hi guys welcome to my channel once again how are you all doing today guys like i keep telling you you can trust me to be bringing you the gist updates happenings and all the buzzwords happening in and out of big brother ninja house guys a lot has been happening outside biggie's house since your face left biggie's house it seems as though the show is just beginning outside though because the content that this house made big brother or stars made are giving us outside eh, is on a daily basis like we didn't get to see all this kind of drama in biggie's house i must tell you reunion is going to be something else he will not get mine making not good this reunion at all because this reunion is going to be filled with suspects in short a lot of secret is going to be revealed since we did not get to see this we did not get to watch everything they are going to open it up there at the reunion so this reunion is a must watch a lot of persons are already anticipating for it because it's going to be something else i must tell you guys so mm, pere fina and ike hmm. like we all know ike is a very close friend of pere uh, their relationship has grew since they came out of biggie south they, they were not this close before even while they were on the show they were not that close they were just this guy guy things half half a friend they were not that close but since they came out of big brother uh oster house they were not even still close when they came out it was just a few months ago we started seeing this closeness between the both of them. Um, Ike visiting uh, Pere, Pere visiting Ike, Ike and Pere Ange now doing things together, having a nice time together, guys, guys, things and all of that. Mm, a lot of persons have been saying that Ike and Pere are just friends because they want to spite Messi, aka they have been doing all of this because of Messi. Because if you notice, when Pere was close with Messi, he was not friend with Ike. He was keeping the stars. He was trying to protect Messi and respecting what Messi respects. No, if it were if it were to be me too, I would do same. I will respect who my man respects, and I will stay away from who is not respecting. My man, so that was what Perry was actually doing when him and uh, Messi AK was dating. He was trying to be cool with the people that are cool with Messi. If you come for Messi, Perry will come for you. Perry is that kind of guy that any woman will pray to have in his or her life because uh, they will stand by you to the last call, they will defend you no matter what, they will defend you no matter who is involved, they will defend you. They will make sure you are protected against those people that want to drag and throw you. So that's how uh, Messi and Pere were. That was the level of respect that Pere had for Messi while they were together. He kept a, a very huge distance from those people that were uh, after Messi. Remember during the after party, uh, when they were having parties after the Big Brother hostel, you would always see Pere staying very far from Mickey. They were never close. They were never friends at all. They weren't friends at all. So not until what happened between Messi and Pere happened and yeah, Pere had to retrace his step, you know. You know go carry another person matter for head now. You know go use another because of another person. They get enemy. Enemy they be enemy with person will not be enemy with you get. So he had to just retrace his step and a lot of reconciliation happened on the ground. Yes, he was able to reconcile with Venita. You know, him and Venita were not even cool. They had their own personal issue in the house, coupled with that of Messi, AK2. The two of them were not cool. But since they, she had a, a, a movie coming up, and Me, uh, Venita is one of those actresses in that movie, he had to, 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 uh, he has to calm down and uh, talk things out with Venita. And the both of them see reasons to reconcile, and they are cool too. So he had to also meet Ike and the both of them reconcile too. So right now, Ike and Pere is cool. If you ask me, Pere did the right thing. We did the right thing because person don't know who will help him tomorrow. No one knows he so I help her tomorrow. You cannot just be enemy with somebody because the person is an enemy with your friend. What if they go behind your back and settle? You that just insulted yourself in what you don't know, now uh, you will be the one left out and they will settle with you. So I am very happy about what Pere did by settling with EK. So guys, a lot has also been happening. Just yesterday, Nigeria played a match and uh, they played against South Africa and they won that match. It was a resounding victory. It was a victory everybody was looking forward to because the victory, eh, hmm, 
Hey, it was as if they bet. It, it was a bet that if Nigeria don't win this, uh, we are going to drag them and all of that. So, to the glory of God, yes, the Nigeria won that particular match. Yes, we won. They won that particular match, and uh, there was a lot of excitement. Different status were flying up and down. If you go to Instagram, it was something else. You go to Twitter, it was something else. All the social media was shut down. In short, the celebration yesterday was on another level. People were updating different, different status. And in the process of celebration, Iko Onyeme updated the status yesterday and it was like, take Fina and Pere, give us Tyler, South Africa. That was what Ike Onyeme told South Africa, that they should take Ike, uh, uh, they should take Fina and Pere, rather. Take Fina and Pere, give us Tyler. That was his status yesterday. And a lot of person read him meaning into that particular status that he posted. And they were like, see, yes, Ike, we know Ike, Ike can be very loud. Ike has basket mat. Ike, you are here to tell us what is happening between Fina and Perry. Because a lot of persons have been suspecting the both of them that they have something together. Remember after the show, Perry and Fina had a date together. They enjoyed themselves. The both of them, they were seen sitting out together, having good time. Reason is because Fina stood by Pere. Why Pere was in, in the house? He was she was busy campaigning for Pere and Ilebaye. So when they, he came out, he saw the reason to. He was like, "Let me go and appreciate this babe that was carrying my matter on her head." So since then, Fina and Pere, both of them have been friends. They have been friends. Though Fina was unable to come for. Uh, Perez uh, premiere because she was on the set of Isakaba. Uh, that movie is ongoing right now. Isakaba, which features Sam Dede, Chidi Makome, Regina Dane, Rita Danes, and Fina. Most of them, all of them, legends in the Nollywood industry were all featured in that particular movie. So she was unable to make it to that uh, premiere, but irrespective of that. So, it, yes, they when he came made that post, a lot of persons were like, yes, we said it. There is something going on between Fina and Perry. If no, Ike is an insider, Ike knows better. Hence the reason why he is saying they should take Fina and Perry and give us uh, Tyler. So, meaning Fina and Perry are dating. That is why Ike said so, uh, that particular thing. If not, why will Ike merge uh, Fina and Pere if there's nothing happening between the both of them? So right now, guys, the rumor in turn is that Fina and Pere are dating. Though it's not, uh, the news is not verified, it's just a rumor. They are saying the both of them are dating and I don't know. So guys, that is that on that. Alright guys, thank you for joining me once again. Please and please click on the subscribe button and do come back for more interesting Big Brother Ninja updates. And please, if you are here to subscribe, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you will be notified anytime we make a new post. Thank you.